Hey guys! In this video, we are going to test the best hydration pack you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time. And I've listed them based on the security and pricing features I've included for options for each type of consumer. So you can easily verify this best hydration pack for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Our first choice running with the Osprey Dyna 1.5L hydration pack with a 1.5L reservoir felt like I was wearing a tactile sports bra. I will dare to say women with smaller chests could run sans sports bra throughout the hot summer months, the goods contained beneath an irritation-free, breathable mesh and perforated foam harness. The hydration vest offered a snug female-specific fit with removable, adjustable straps under the arms and across the chest for a smooth, bounce-free run. The Osprey Dyna 1.5 was ideal for short to mid-range trail and road runs. It is littered with pockets, both mesh and zippered, ranging in size. On a 10-mile trail run, I carried a small first aid kit, a roll of tape, keys, phone, a buff, a full bladder, and shoved an extra layer through an auxiliary loop without feeling too weighed down or off balance. The accompanying 1.5-liter Osprey Hydraulics Reservoir with Quick Connect and the pack's sternum strap bite valve magnet made hauling water on the 10-miler feel like nothing. For me, the vest's versatility made it the best hydration pack when running. After testing the pack and fully filled reservoir out a long run, I took it for an early morning slow six. On the latter test, I ran with just two of my soft bottles in the front mesh chest pockets for hydration, no reservoir, I needed the room to shed layers as the sun came up. Safe to say, the Osprey Dyna 1.5 is my go-to for spring and summer runs, road or trail, rain or shine. Read the in-depth review here. At number 2 perfect for a long day hike in the local Greenbelt or State Park, the Gregory Juno 24 Hydration Pack has your back. It supported and kept my back and shoulders happy on a 12-mile hike with a wide, padded hip belt and the perimeter wireframe. The wireframe helped distribute the weight across my entire back, and the hip belt alleviated the pressure on my shoulders well. In the spring Texas heat and humidity, the Vaporspan ventilated suspension with moisture wicking mesh was a key feature, I appreciated the continuous breeze and the moisture wicking mesh. My day hike stretch across breakfast and lunch, following the rising morning temperatures. The pack has multiple compartments, two large zippered hip pockets, a zip top pocket, and accessory pockets and straps around the pack's exterior. I found the Juno 24 happily fit a large, two to three person first aid kit, a small breakfast and lunch, raincoat, a mid-layer, extra hiking socks, my essentials, and a small camera with ease. The 100% nylon material withstood beatings in the back of my truck and on the trail. Sitting down to eat or swim, I was confident my belongings were kept dry and secure. Read the in-depth review here. At number 3 whether you're a multisport athlete or need a hydration pack for hikes, skiing, or running, the Vibrelli Hydration Pack is a versatile and capable hydration pack with plenty of space for all your needs. This pack features a bladder pocket, plenty of storage for snacks and emergency gear, and an adjustable bungee strap for holding a bike helmet or anything else you need to store. The pack's 2-liter capacity ensures you have enough water for any activity or adventure. The tester only went through all 2 liters during longer day hikes. The Vibrelli has accompanied the editor on several cross-country ski excursions without freezing, day hikes, and endurance runs of up to 10 miles. The sternum and hip straps adjusted easily to keep the pack from bouncing. The pack distributed weight comfortably without digging into the skin, a must-have for the tester on longer runs and busy ski days with terrain changes. An emergency whistle also adorns the sternum strap. Whether you're a righty or a lefty, the pack allows you to put the hose on either side and secures it with a strap. Reflective tabs improved visibility in the dark, and 420 denier ripstop fabric endured abrasions from trees, rocks, and anything else encountered. In the tester's opinion, the affordability, durability, and space made the Vibrelli Hydration Pack stand above the rest for any outdoor activity. Read the in-depth review here. At number 4 the Camelback Chase Bike Hydration Pack is a significant departure from most hydration packs, the Hydration Bladder. <music>
everything snug towards the body center rather than just cinching down the side panels. The armholes are large enough to avoid uncomfortable chafing under the arms and the skin contact materials didn't bother me even after pouring sweat 7 miles in. I chose the Nathan over my Camelback and Osprey hydration packs when it came to long, leisurely paced trail runs and long, early morning weekend road runs. It's ideal for those longer hauls because the broad shoulder panel was fully supportive, unlike narrower panels that run between the shoulder blades. When tightening down these less substantial models, I felt they forced my chest out, reducing comfort. The 360-degree reflective trim gave me peace of mind as I set out before sunrise. For external pockets over the chest panels kept my soft water bottles and mid-run breakfast bar closed so I didn't have to stop and unpack. We hope you've enjoyed, if you did, please leave a like on the video and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.